Right now, there's an American who's possibly looking at the death penalty for illegally entering North Korea. Last November, he went, he came in through the city of Raisan. He entered the country where he was arrested and has been held ever since. In the trial that's going on right now, he may actually be executed for what they say is attempting to overthrow the government. Although the title of the article is very interesting, they say American tourist faces death in North Korea. Which is interesting because Americans are not allowed to be tourists in North Korea. The man never had permission to enter North Korea. So how is he a tourist in North Korea threatened with death? It's not. He can't be. Because he was never allowed to enter the country to begin with. Because he couldn't have. Because he was a tourist. And American tourists are not allowed in the country. So we see even from the title of this article, it's very deliberately misleading. The article goes on to distort the issue even further. He admitted that he committed crimes aimed to topple the DPRK, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, with hostility toward it. His crimes were proved by evidence. He will soon be taken to the Supreme Court of the DPRK to face judgment, according to the report, which did not say what the charges were based on. Well, actually, they did. It's in the previous paragraph that you just gave. He admitted that he committed crimes aimed to topple the DPRK, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, with hostility toward it. So actually, it's right there. They said why. And then you take into account the fact that he illegally entered the country, and you start getting a better picture of why the guy was placed under arrest. However, he has found one, at least one defender in South Korea. Seoul-based activist Do Hee Yoon told the AFP that he suspected Pei was arrested because he had taken photographs of emaciated children in North Korea as a part of efforts to appeal for more outside aid for them. So in other words, he doesn't know, he only suspects, which means he doesn't actually know anything. Now it's very interesting how very carefully worded this entire statement is. He was photographing the children, so that does explain why he was in the country and why they would be mad, but he was doing it to help them, which makes him a poor innocent victim at the same time. Except that from the confessions that were made, that's not why he was there. I mean, you can see how very cleverly worded this is to make it look like, yeah, he was doing something that he shouldn't have been doing, like illegally entering the country, but he was doing it to help them. So that way he's a poor, persecuted, innocent man. Although, interestingly, they show that he was in there doing this thing that was legal, but he shouldn't have been in there to begin with. It's, it's just very strange the way that those who are defending him are actually wording this. It would be nice if we had some real solid information. But what we do know is that he wasn't actually supposed to be there. And apparently no one who actually knows what he was doing, because if he was supposedly supposed to be there, there would be somebody outside of the DPRG government that would know why he was there.